Welcome to XR template tutorial lesson number 24. In this XR Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we'll be going over how to add line strokes to different objects such as photos or to a quick shape. If you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in XR Web Designer 7 Premium. Once you do that, we're going to go ahead and head over to the line gallery, which you should see on the right hand side of your screen. If you don't see the line gallery here, which it has kind of two arrows, one is blue and one is white over here in the corner. If you don't see that, then you're going to have to go to your options at the top and you'll go to utilities. And when you go to utilities, you'll go to galleries and then you'll see a menu that pops out. And you should look and check and see if the option for line gallery is checked. If you don't see a check mark there, then you're going to want to click on line gallery so that it, there is a check mark there. And when you left click on it, if there isn't one there, it'll check mark it once you do so. But in this case, I already have a check mark by line gallery, so that means I have it selected. And if you do as well, you don't have to select it here. And once you do that, you're going to go ahead and go to your line gallery on the right hand side here. And I'm going to lock this panel. If you go to the upper right hand corner, you'll see a little thumbtack that you see up there and left click on that and it'll lock that panel so that it doesn't move when you move your cursor outside of it. And the first thing I'm going to go over is the fact that you can't use arrowheads for your line stroke. And there is a difference. In the previous tutorial we went over the straight line tool and you were able to add different arrowheads to the, using the straight line tool. And you can also add arrowheads to a, a quick shape using the quick shape tool as long as you don't close that shape. But in this particular tutorial, you, you won't have to worry about arrowheads, so you can go ahead and close that folder. And if you want to open up the next option, which is your dash pattern, we can use that. So left click on the folder icon to the left of dash patterns, and it'll show you all the options you have for dash patterns. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to apply these dash patterns to an object. So let's go to our toolbar to the quick shapes and I'm gonna draw a rectangle and you can choose whatever shape you want you can choose circle or star it's still gonna apply the line stroke for a dash pattern so I'm gonna go ahead and draw my rectangle and mine is actually set to a color that you can't see so I'm gonna make it visible alright so make sure that your your color is actually visible and all I did is I went to the color editor down here I'll show you that again and I changed the fill color and I'm gonna make mines maybe a, a bright red and then inside the color editor you're gonna click on this drop down menu where it says local fill color so left click that and you'll see an option for local line color and we're gonna change that to black and once you do that you can go ahead and close the color editor and the next thing you're going to do is go back to the line gallery and you'll see an option to set the line width this first drop down menu and we're going to make it maybe about a, a four pixel width and as you can see on the rectangle there is now about a four pixel width line stroke that's black and we're going to change the join type which is the next drop down menu next to the line width that we just used and click double I'm sorry left click on that drop down menu and we're going to set it to the first option and that's going to stop the corners from looking round and if you couldn't see that I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll make the line stroke a little bit bigger we'll make it about a 16 pixel and then if you go to the join type which is the second drop down menu in your line gallery you'll see the round join if you select that you'll see that the corners turn round for the line stroke versus if you choose the first option it keeps the corners very sharp you know like a 90 degree angle and the last option you have is bevel joined and you'll get a bevel joined line stroke so the sec second uh, option for drop down menu for setting join type allows you to adjust the join type for the line strokes but I'm going to again set it back to the, the first option here and then I'm going to go over the fact that you can't use the last option here for setting a line cap. The line cap applies to 
open shapes like a if you use the straight line tool you could use the, the round cap and you'll notice that nothing on this shape is rounded now the, if you go to even like square cap it won't change anything on this line stroke it's just going to stay the same however if you were to select the dotted line in the dash patterns the, the one the first one to the in the second column here you double click on that and you change the 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 line cap it will change so if i change it to round it you'll see now that the dash pattern is rounded if i change it to square cap you'll see that it goes to square cap mode so because it's not a, a closed line stroke you're able to see the changes for the the cap change for the line and that's some of the different ways that you can adjust your line stroke i'm going to leave it on butt cap and then I'm going to set it back to a standard line in the dash pattern section. So once you set that back by double clicking on left clicking on double left clicking on this straight line with no dashes in it, let's go ahead and close that folder. And just by the by the way, the, we just went over how to change the size using the first option, the line width and the join type and the butt cap or the cap types for the line and just make sure that you're understanding this it's not anything you know super hard but it can be very useful in designs for your website uh, for example actually let me go to the dotted line and let's make it about a four pixel and this probably looks familiar to you if it doesn't think about different advertisements that you see that have the dotted lines for you to cut out a coupon you could probably use this on your website maybe you want it to have an item on sale you know say save twenty dollars you know you could make like a coupon that they could print out obviously you probably have your code information in there you know before you print that out so that you know you know that it came from your business so there there's some different uses for for the dotted lines there as well but let's go ahead and go back to the line gallery and close the dash patterns and actually I'll show you what some of the other dash patterns look like make sure you have that rectangle selected or you won't see the changes take place but yeah you can just double, double left click on any of these line patterns and it'll change that and if you look over on the workspace area you'll see that it's changing as I double click on these with the left click mouse button but let's go ahead and set that back to the normal one so now you have a better idea of how the dash patterns work once you close that, let's go to the novelty folder here. And if you click on that folder, it'll open and expand and show all the options you have available there. The first one you see is the pedals option. If you double left click on that, you probably can barely see it on your screen here since it's a small, small stroke line. We're going to go ahead and change the, the line width, which is this first option in here, in your line gallery. And we're going to set it to maybe a 24. And now you'll see the petals surrounding the quick shape that you drew and if you go to the color editor and make sure that you click the drop down menu and go to local line color you'll be able to adjust that color for the petals which is your line stroke you can create some pretty cool effects you know maybe it's something for Christmas and if you had a circle you could do like a a circle reef using these petals so it's pretty cool effect in my opinion maybe maybe you don't think the same thing or maybe you do but you can kinda play around with it and see what what kinda ideas you can come up with and if you double left click on any of these other options in novelty it'll also change the type of line stroke when you click on those so it's pretty straightforward it's pretty much the same process for each folder except some of the options that you have such as set join type and saying your line cap will not apply like for the novelty you won't be able to set a join type so don't ever try to set a join type it's not going to work and if you do it doesn't really matter because it won't make any physical changes to your your line stroke and you can kind of see that as I'm I'm changing the options for the join type you see that nothing changes and that's because you can't apply a join type to a a object that's in the novelty folder. 
and the same thing applies for your line cap you can't change that either it won't have any effect on the object the only thing you can change is the color if you go to the color editor you'll be able to change the color and that's for any of the the options that's available in your novelty folder so like you see that that changed green if I select the wedges the wedges are green instead of red if I select the coarse spray again it's still green and you can change the colors even once you change the line stroke and you can make some pretty cool effects like this one here so the options are pretty much unlimited it's pretty much left up to your imagination let's go ahead and close the novelty folder by left clicking on it once and then let's left click on natural media and you'll see that you again have a bunch of different options that you can choose from such as an airbrush if you double left click on that probably can't see it since it's such a pale color but if you darken it down to black you kinda can see it over this object but it's really hard to see depending on uh, what colors you, you're using uh, the other option you can use is like chalk and you can see the chalk looks pretty interesting or crayon or felt tip there's again a lo unlimited number of options that you could choose from that I think are pretty cool so that's a, that's how you adjust the, the line stroke using the natural media again if you try to change the the join type here in the menu up here it will have no effect on the object for natural media as well and that's including the line cap the line cap will not have any effect the only thing you can change is the color and so the bare minimum you know that you can change the color for natural media and also when you're in the novelty folder you'll be able to change the color and you can size of the the line stroke so let me make sure that you understand that too you can always change the line stroke size if I wanted it to be smaller I could choose four pixels and you'll see that it's really small barely visible or I can make it really large like a 32 pixel and it'll be really large and you can see those changes being updated in real time in my workspace here so you can always change the line stroke size and you can always change the color the only thing that you won't be able to change is the join type and the line cap when you're dealing with natural media and the novelty folder so go ahead and left click on the natural media folder to close that one and if you go to the first folder the new brush strokes by default you'll have the regular stroke that you use by default and if you double left click on that you'll just get a single line which you probably can barely see since it's a smaller stroke width let's go ahead and set the line width in the line gallery to about a 16 pixel and you'll see that it's just a straight fully connected line that you have here and that's pretty much how you apply line strokes within XR there's some other ways you can apply it too but just to keep this tutorial short I'm not going to cover the additional ways you can apply line strokes I'll probably just make an additional tutorial and show you some other cool ways that you can make line strokes as well I hope that this tutorial was helpful in helping you understand how to apply line strokes there is one other thing I want to mention you know you don't have to just double click on any of these you can also select it by left clicking once like for example let's choose marker and if you left click on that once within the natural media folder go up to the apply button and it'll apply that particular option I just tend to just double left click because it's faster rather than you know left clicking on it once and then going way up to the top of the line gallery to hit apply just seems more efficient just to lo double left click it and always make sure that you have your shape selected or it won't apply that particular line stroke but again I, I hope that this tutorial has helped you to understand how to apply line strokes and I'll be making an additional tutorial at some point to go over some more in-depth ways that you can apply line strokes if you like this video definitely give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to stay tuned to future tutorials for how to use Xara Web Designer 7 Premium thanks again and have a great day yeah.